ladies and gentlemen, friends and families. Good evening. I am Dr. Muhammad Adil, consultant surgeon from United Kingdom. I would like to share an extremely important document with you, which I have retrieved from Government of United Kingdom website, and I thought it might be extremely important for you, your family, and loved one. This particular document has been released on behalf of Department of Health and Social Services on 28th of August 2020 under the heading of Distributing Vaccine for the Treatment of COVID-19 and Flu. In this particular document, the Government of United Kingdom is seeking your viewpoint regarding in the Human Medicine Regulation Act 2012 for the safe and efficient administration of coronavirus vaccine and that of flu vaccine and also they are seeking for immunity for the disease that becomes pandemic. So ladies and gentlemen, this is an extremely important document in our lifetime which will decide about ourselves and our next generation. Under this document there are five subheadings which are extremely important which I would like to share. Number one, authorization of vaccination according to the Human Medicine Regulation Act 2012. Nobody is allowed to manufacture or to dispense any medicine or vaccine, not only in UK but also in the rest of the world. Therefore, the government proposal regarding authorizing the unlicensed vaccination is totally ridiculous. Number two, civil liability and immunity. It means the patient who are having vaccine are responsible for their health and well-being regardless of any complications related after the injection of vaccination. So it means the government and the pharmaceutical companies are immune for having any liability for injecting this particular vaccine. Number three, the recruitment of special force for administering vaccine from door to door and from town to town and hospital to hospital, which is again is not appropriate as this particular vaccine is unlicensed. Even it's licensed, it's RNA vaccine, and we don't seem to have any trial or any research work to pinpoint the safety of this particular vaccine. And number four, the promotion of vaccine. In, in no circumstances, any unlicensed medication is promoted in UK and the rest of the world, which is totally illegal. And number fifth, the wholesaler vaccine. So it means the government of the United Kingdom want to have the wholesale of vaccine and to propagate and so ladies and gentlemen it's extremely regretted that this particular vaccine has been ruled out as per plan by the UK government in collaboration with Melinda Gate Foundation, Gavi Foundation and other joint pharmaceutical companies. So the few months ago, this was, this was considered to be a conspiracy theory which has become fact with the figures. And I was right at that time when I told you regarding this possible outcome of the vaccine, which is not more than just the agenda for, for making money, business, trade, and to develop wealthier government, and is certainly not useful for the public. And the, and, the, and the people. Moreover, it is also regretted that in the recent past, the government of the United Kingdom have made 7.6 billion pounds from the wealthier countries and they have 
they have transferred their money to the Gavi Foundation for the manufacturing and dispensing of vaccine, which is totally unacceptable and ridiculous. The reason being, in the given pandemic, where the economy of UK and the rest of the world has gone down more than 80 to 90 percent, this money could have been used for the infrastructure, for education, for welfare of the people, for health, and for other useful ways to, to, to educate people for, uh, for getting a better generation, which are the future of our families and loved ones. Similarly, the health professionals would be asked soon for prescribing this particular vaccination. And remember, this is a message to the health professional that you have given oath Hippocratic Oath, which is totally based on the medical ethics, which clearly says, I would not administer any poisonous drugs into my patient, nor will I encourage anybody to do that, and I would do no harm. So this is a harmful RNA vaccine without any trial or any proof to inject, while the coronavirus has almost diminished. There is no reason for licensing, unless, for, for, un, for propagating unlicensed vaccine, which could be serious harm to the public. And my message to the police and military is that you have also given the oath for protecting public and their fundamental right by the local and, and enemies from the local within the country or abroad. So this is a time to act quickly in collaboration with the public and with, with the health professional to stop this happening in future because this is the oath which we all have given as a health professional, as a paramedics, as a nursing staff, as a member of parliaments, governments, and police force, and the, the military. So we should abide by the oath which we have given already. I wish you all the best for everything. By the way, there's only five days left when the deadline is going to be over on 18th of September at 11.59. You have to act quickly. And please, if you like this video, you can share this video with your friends and families so that everybody should say no to this vaccine under the heading of civil liability and immunity. And don't touch any other column whatsoever. Thank you ever so much. I will talk to you later. Bye for now.